As with most mobile applications, the use of gestures is essential in navigating the interface in Onshape Mobile. When first signing into Onshape on your mobile device, you are prompted to explore the basics of Onshape or start using Onshape immediately. Select Explore the Basics of Onshape. You will be redirected to a page that displays instructions on how to utilize gestures within Onshape Mobile. To perform the gestures, follow the step by step instructions. Once completed, swipe left to review additional gestures. The standard gesture controls used within Onshape Mobile are rotate, pan, zoom, select and deselect, the context sensitive menu, and the precision selection tool. These gestures will be discussed in more detail later in the video. If a refresher of the gesture controls within Onshape Mobile is needed, tap the help icon in the top right corner and select review gesture controls. A similar prompt displaying the step-by-step -step instructions appears. If you have reviewed and familiarized yourself with the gesture controls in Onshape Mobile, let's get started. To rotate an entity within a graphics area, take one finger and drag in any direction across the screen. To pan an entity, take two fingers and drag in any direction across the screen. To zoom on an entity within a graphics area, pinch your fingers in and out. If you want to select a face or an edge on an entity, tap the desired face or edge. The selected face or edge highlights to indicate the selection. If multiple faces or edges are needed for the selection, tap on each face or edge in succession, and each entity is added to the selection set. Just like the desktop, Onshape uses persistent selection on mobile devices as well. To deselect a single face or edge, tap it again. To deselect the entire selection set, double tap with one finger anywhere in empty space within a graphics area. At times, it may be difficult to make precise selections of certain features or entities. To assist with this, Onshape has a precision selector for the mobile app. To access the precision selector tool, tap and hold with one finger in the graphics area. When the selector displays, drag your finger to the desired location. When the crosshairs line up, a preview of the selected entities highlights. To initiate the selection, lift your finger. To access a context-sensitive menu with additional options, similar to the right-click menu on the desktop, tap two fingers in empty space in the graphics area. This menu displays different options based on the active environment. To create a selection box, press and hold the screen with two fingers. Prior to picking up your fingers, use a pinch gesture to adjust the size of the box. If additional adjustments are required to the size of the box, touch and drag a corner of the box. To reposition the box, touch and drag the box with one finger. Along the bottom of the box selection tool, there are four icons. Cancel, Inside Box, Cross By Box, and Confirm. The Cancel icon allows the user to cancel the box selection completely. The inside box icon allows the user to select any entities that are entirely inside the selection box. The cross by box icon allows the user to select any entities that cross the selection box but may not be completely inside the selection box. Lastly, the confirm icon allows the user to confirm the box selection. Onshape Mobile also provides you the ability to access gesture controls through the use of the Apple Pencil. Similar to the touch controls, the Apple Pencil has the ability to rotate, select and deselect entities, and utilize the Precision Selector tool. When using the Apple Pencil, press and hold in the graphics area to access the Precision Selector. To temporarily zoom, press down harder on the pencil. When the selector appears, drag the pencil to the desired location. When the crosshairs line up, a preview of the selected entities highlights. To initiate the selection, lift the pencil. Once the pencil is released, the zoom returns to normal. 
This video teaches you how to utilize gestures through the use of touch controls and the Apple Pencil to navigate the interface within Onshade Mobile. 